I do have one story when it comes to memorabilia, or a couple couple pieces. Um, I actually got a couple pairs of chairs, and then I had made friends with someone that worked at the stadium, and uh, I won't name his name. <laughs> and um, statue limitations was, right now. Literally, there was a room, and it was full of old chairs, turnstiles. I mean, Thanks for anything. Sharing the information. Had, yeah. <laughs> and so he's got a chair. Got, yeah. Someone's gonna call me. That's where I got my chairs. He's like, take a couple chairs. You, it, you want a turnstile? And I'm sitting there. I got this turnstile. I'm like, holy cow, man, this would be really great to have. And um, but I was driving home, and I I didn't want to put it in the back of my truck with a couple pairs of chairs and a turnstile on my way home from at the end of the season. But the night that we spent at Tiger Stadium, um, one of the guys working in the clubhouse said, "Do you want anything from stadiums or anything that?" you know, you would like to have. And I said, you know what? I'd love to have the sign above um, the clubhouse right before you came in. It, had, it sat on two chains, hung by two chains. It was a wooden sign. It said something to the effect of clubhouse will be closed 30 minutes before game time for media. And uh, I said, I'd love to have it if I can get that. He said, yeah, let's go get it. So we took a ladder, took it down, wrapped it in towels and put it above my locker. And um, two days later, we're in Minnesota. We get a call. Security had it on camera <laughs> that we were taking the sign down. <laughs> Security had it on camera. We were taking the sign down. They're like, you know, we obviously they weren't going to cause any issue. They said, hey, but we, we want to keep the sign. I said, okay, it's above my locker. And I came back and it was gone. So oh. I, I got a really good sign. That's that's a cool story. Though. Somebody's got it. I guarantee you, Tiger Somebody's fan somewhere it. has yeah. it. Yeah, Somebody that's that's a cool story. Yeah. Pretty cool. The honorary captains that day were Al Kaline and George Brett. CJ, did you uh, <laughs> did you take anything from Tiger Stadium? So I didn't steal anything, and then but I wanted to. So the conversation went. And I'm sure I talked to a couple of you guys about this. And this is it's kind of gross, but this is what I wanted. So I was thinking about the urinal that yes. sat right outside the dugout on the visitor side yeah right because of course you're around all you know we've been around the greats the idea of thinking all about all the players that came through and trying to figure out like there's no doubt mickey mantle took a leak there hung over one day that had to happen right we don't know for sure, for sure but it probably happened so my idea which my wife would never have gone for <laughs> is to go ahead and get get that thing get it disinfected and then you turn it into a cooler for your backyard parties right fill it with ice and fill it with beer <laughs> that's what i wanted that uh, it didn't happen and so i, I have two seats from the stadium in my office uh, actually, that sit right under a picture that I bought uh, at an auction that we had at Tiger Stadium. It's a painting of the old ballpark, and Ernie and Al signed it. Oh, and so, so I have that in my office with the two seats sitting underneath. But there were so many cool signs around the ballpark that, that would have been really fun to have and, and probably would have had a chance of getting in my house over that urinal. Um, but... Uh
delivers. Here's a swing and a miss. The game's over. And Tigers Stadium is no more. The final score, the Tigers 8 and the Royals 2.